What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing something very different, something I haven't done a lot of, if at all, and that is going to be showing off a little bit of PVP. Now, I typically don't play a ton of PVP, but because I got a couple new units onto my roster, I felt like it was a really good way to kind of show them off, tap into the potential that they have when it comes to PVP. And those two characters are Stain and Aizawa. Now, Stain I just got recently, and Aizawa I got maybe a couple weeks back, but both of them are really at the same level right now. They're both around level 30, and I'm gonna need to make a decision on which one I wanna start pouring most of my speed resources for their talent trees and things like that into. So, I'm probably gonna do another video later on when it comes down to deciding between the two of these, because I also have Ida, that is another speed character that I need to level up at some point. And all three of those characters have their uses and can be really beneficial to my roster. I just need to whittle it down to one of them. But for this video specifically, we're going to look at how Stain and Aizawa really excel in PvP. And originally, I was planning on doing this video just about Stain. But when I was playing Aizawa yesterday and playing him in other PvP matches, I was like, yo, I've really been sleeping on Aizawa. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this first matchup. I have Stain up first, just because, like I said, the original plan was to show off Stain. And Stain is an awesome unit for PvP. I know he gets a lot of cred for being a really good PvE unit, but even in PvP, if you're able to get his rotation down, be able to close the distance on your opponents, he really is going to just tear through anybody that you kind of come up against. And as you can see here with this matchup against Deku, Deku is somebody that is pretty easy to take out in PvP, but because of his ability to use one for all and his speed, sometimes getting uh, Deku cornered and getting him still so that you can do damage on him can be a little difficult, especially if he gets his combo rolling first. But with Stain, you're able to, you know, he has his eight hit combo, he has his E ability, which closes the distance and does a nice amount of damage. And then with his ability to control his opponents with his W ability, you're really able to do a lot of damage. However, as you can see with this All my matchup, when he isn't able to really get into the flow of his combos and he isn't able to really maximize his abilities, he can get taken down really quickly, which caused me to have to bring in Tokiyami to kind of finish up this All Might matchup. And I do, I love Tokiyami as a PVP unit. Again, I don't play a ton of it because prior to me having both Aizawa and Stain, I didn't feel like I had a really good solid roster to handle most, most PvP units. But as you can see here, switching to Aizawa, the thing that I love so much about Aizawa is his ability to control the fight and really ramp up the pace at which he's able to move. Now, the downside of Aizawa is matchups like this, where you have Uraraka coming in, raining down uh, meteors on you and you don't really have a quick way of getting her down. Now, Aizawa does have abilities to do that, but like I said, I'm still working on like figuring out exactly how to, just, how to play him, um, especially in a matchup like this. So normally when Uraraka would come in, I would switch out to uh, Tokoyami because he has a perfect counter to her uh, float ability. But a lot of the time I have to just wait for her to come down. Right now I'm getting kind of comboed into oblivion right here, but, Aizawa has that ability to kind of just turn the fight around with the ability to kind of like lay these traps down and and kind of control the battlefield. But like I said, eventually I was able to get Tokoyami back into the fight so that he can handle this Uraraka fight. And for this matchup specifically, Tokoyami was the MVP. Aizawa did some work early. I think, uh, I'm sorry, Stain did some work early. And then Aizawa, you know, did his did what he needed to do to at least you know hang around until I was able to get Tokoyami back in the fight but you're gonna see in a couple other matchups where Stain and Aizawa really shine and again by having Tokoyami on the team it kind of balances things out now this matchup started out really really rough for me and this is where again it's not my gameplay but somebody else was using Stain really really well and you can see how Stain just overpowers you with his combos with his abilities to kind of just keep you up against the wall and keep you in a constant you know rotation of not being able to break out of what he's doing so for me i had to find somebody that i felt like would be faster than stain because again when stain gets going it's a problem so i switched to my aizawa which the thing that was funny is that obviously you see he switched to his the minute i switched to mine because i do believe aizawa is probably the best matchup for stain because again as fast as stain is 
Aizawa can kind of just navigate the battlefield a little bit better. And if you get Stain stuck in a certain uh, mode where he, I think where he has his katana and his dagger, uh, he's a little more linear and he's a little bit easier to take out that way. But as you can see in this matchup, I was really able to take control of this fight once I got my Aizawa against his. And really, like I said, Aizawa's ability to just be so quick on his feet. And that's the thing that I love so much about Aizawa in PvP. It's why I really like Deku in PvP. But again, people were able to just kind of work around Deku. And it's so much about, you know, how quickly you're hitting your abilities and things like that. Um, Aizawa, I just feel like is a little bit smoother when it comes to PvP. So took out his Aizawa. And this is where Stain really shines as well. So as we see when I started, his Stain was right on top of my Aizawa. So Aizawa is really, really good, but Stain is so clutch and perfect when he's in close quarters. So I had to get my Aizawa out of there because like I said, I really wanted to be able to uh, showcase some of the other heroes and I didn't want to get KO'd right there. But again, once Stain gets into this mode, like as you see here, as good as Tokoyami is, I'm just a little too close. I'm constantly trying to create space so that I can kind of use Tokoyami's ability to uh, attack from afar and do close combos, but it just wasn't happening. And right now, it's not looking good for me, right? He, had, he still has Endeavor. His Stain is pretty topped off as well, but Stain is just... I've seen so many other videos where people have said this. Stain is OP when it comes to PvP if you know how to use them. And this is a clear example of this. Watch as I use Stain to basically decimate the rest of his team. And this was done by simply, first of all, starting off with his E ability to immediately jump into a combo, but then staying on top of him. If you're able to stay close to your opponent, I'm going to say it again and again in this video. If you're able to stay in close quarters, Stain is pretty much unmatched. There's nobody that can keep up with his combo style and keep up with his ability to evade and, and immediately jump back into a combo. And with his combo being eight hits, it's just, it's a little overpowering, right? For most PvP players and with his ability to control his opponents and things like that, like as you're seeing, I'm just constantly dancing around this endeavor. Endeavor is just a little too slow to keep up. And that's another win in the books. Now that matchup was really impressive for Stain, but this next matchup is super impressive for Stain. Now this team that I'm going up against, I would not recommend using in PVP. I don't know why this person would use this team. I'm assuming it's just based off of what they have available to them. But a team of Deku, Su, and Bakugo, really the, the letdown on this team is Bakugo. Bakugo, I've yet to lose to a Bakugo in PVP, and I don't play a ton of it, but I just, Bakugo's just not a very good PvP unit for some reason. I don't know if it's just his ability to not really connect, but as you're going to see here, I'm taking a lot of damage with Stain right now because again, with Deku, he's a really good PvP unit when he's able to stay in his combo rotation. But for some reason, he swapped out and I'm assuming because he was afraid that I was going to KO Deku. So he brings in Sue, which again, this is why this team is a bad matchup because Sue needs space. Sue needs to be able to set her traps. She needs to be able to evade and get her hits in that way. But I'm not giving her any opportunity to create any amount of space so that I don't get stuck in any of like her poison traps or anything like that. So just like that, Sue's down. Now we have a little bit of health left on Deku. I actually have none of my abilities right now. So this was going to go really, really badly for me because again, the best rotation for staying in PvP, in my opinion, is to quickly close the distance with his E ability and then lock them down with your W ability and then basically just kind of use your basic attacks until that time is up. Now, here we go with Bakugo and I know I was talking trash about Bakugo originally, but he did have me against the ropes right here. But again, as soon as I close that distance, as soon as Stain gets into his rotation with his combos, Bakugo has no chance of escaping him. He's not gonna have any opportunity to create any space. He's not gonna have any opportunities to get off any of his special attacks. And just like that, Stain's gonna go into his frenzy mode, does his ridiculous combo to pretty much wrap up this fight. And literally, I was just really impressed with how quickly and how easily Stain was able to one shot an entire team by himself. Now, with that said, the last two fights have been amazing showcases of Stain and how great he is at basically taking down anywhere from two to an entire team by himself. 
Now this next matchup though, like I said, this video is meant to highlight both Stain and Aizawa. And Aizawa really comes in in the clutch for me in this one. Again, we're gonna start off with Stain. And like I said, Endeavor is a really bad matchup or a really good matchup, I should say, for Stain because again, he's just not fast enough to keep up with Stain and his ability to maneuver and get in these ridiculous combos over and over and over again. So like in every other matchup, we're gonna keep the pressure on him, constantly trying to refresh our combos, constantly waiting until our abilities line back up. But the minute he switches over to All Might, again, like I've said, All Might is a horrible, horrible matchup for Stain. And I tried my best to kind of like get in as much damage as I could, but really I probably should have just been running away, but I get the switch. I was actually going for Aizawa, but it looks like I hit Tokoyami instead. So now Tokoyami is going to have his opportunity to take out All Might. And I have had some good success with Tokoyami against All Might. It's really just, again, you have to break All Might's cycle and you can't let him get into a, a rhythm. Otherwise, you will get KO'd very, very quickly. So here in this fight, I feel like I have it under control. Tokoyami's doing amazing damage. He's down to a little sliver of health, but then he gets his un Invincible. And I'm just trying, I, I just need one hit. I'm trying to get one hit on him. But again, he gets his rotation going, and just like that, Tokoyami's out. So now we have Stain, and the minute he creates that space, I'm like, I'm, I'm going to get KO'd. But luckily, he dashes in, and I'm able to catch him with my E ability. So now I'm down to Stain and Aizawa against Endeavor and his Aizawa. And again, Endeavor pops up, he's too close. Stain clips him right away. Now I have Stain versus Aizawa, and like I've said, I don't think Stain is a good matchup for Aizawa. He's just a little too fast, no matter how fast Stain is. Aizawa is just a little bit faster. And right there, I thought I made contact first, but clearly he clipped me with his ability. And so now it's up to Aizawa to pretty much save the day for me. And I will say it again and again and again, Aizawa to me is just way too much fun to play in PvP. Um, I feel like his play style is just perfect for PvP. I haven't had a chance to test him out a lot in PvE, but this is definitely where he shines. And I kind of feel stupid now for not taking his banner more serious because a lot of people were saying that he was a skip banner, that like it was just a banner to get us to spend all of our recruit tickets, which is very true. But I never heard enough people mentioning how much of a god he was when it came to PvP. Like in my opinion, Tokoyami's near the top of the list. And then for me personally, it would be Aizawa right there, right after him. And then you can kind of fill out your list the rest of the way you want to. But as you see here, I was able to get his ultimate ability off to wrap up this fight. And that's going to be the last matchup for this stream. Like I said, this team that I currently have put together is probably going to be the reason I start playing more PvP. I may end up swapping out Stain here and there for someone like Uraraka or All Might, or even Kirishima and Deku, which are also really good PvP units. But right now, this team is set. So that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video, guys. Let me know in the comment section below, what do you guys think of my new PvP team? Is there anybody that you would recommend over this team? Is there a setup that you currently run that is just killing it for you in PvP? Do you even play a lot of PvP or do you just kind of skip over this mode like I was doing previously? Either way, be sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, be sure to like the video, and like always, I will be sure to catch you guys in the next video.